بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب إله العالمين بالقاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم والعن عداهم Respected viewers, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. From the land of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, the holy land of Karbala, I send peace and blessing upon each and every one of you, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, first and foremost, to hasten the appearance of our beloved Imam al Mahdi ajalallahu ta'ala faraj al Sharif, and grant you the visitation of the shrines of Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam in Iraq as soon as possible. Within our discussion through the book Ali and Fil Quran, Ali and Quran by Grand Ayatollah Adma Sasadiq al Shirazi, which we are discussing verses of the Holy Quran that the narrations from non Shia books mention and state that these verses, more than 700 verses, which, is, which are in the book, in this book, that they are about Amir Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib, السلام, we have reached chapter 2, Surah Al Baqarah, verse 269. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim, wa man yu'tal hikmata faqad utiya khayran kathira. Where we see within translation, Allah says, He gives wisdom to whomever He wishes, and He, is, and he who is given wisdom is certainly given an abundant good. Wisdom and hikma or hikma is something. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, anyone that I give this wisdom to, and anybody who has wisdom, فَقَدْ أُوتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Again, he has an abundant good. We see within the narrations from Hafiz al-Hasakani al-Hanafi, he narrates from chain of narrators, from many people, and Sufyan قال, قال الربيع بن خيثم في قوله تعالى, وَمَنْ يُؤْتِ الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا يَعْنِي عَلِيًّا عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ It means the individual who has been given wisdom, has been given an abundant good, it means Al-Amir Al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. And there are numerous occasions, we see with the numerous occasions, the wisdom and the knowledge of Amir Al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam came and it was appeared to people with the wisdom that he had. For example, it comes to my mind, one time an individual had two wives and they both got pregnant together and they delivered a baby the same day. One delivered a baby boy and the other one delivered a baby girl. And back in the day, during the time of ignorance, people loved boys more than girls. Both women, they claim that the boy is theirs and the girl is the other's. They didn't have an answer. They came to Amir Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam and asked, how can we differentiate which woman has given birth to a boy and which woman has given birth to a lady girl, to a lady, to a girl? Amir Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam within his, with his wisdom and the knowledge that Allah has given him, he said, let both women to uh, give us milk, press from their breast, give us milk, and put it in a bowl, and put it on a scale. The one's milk, which is heavier, that has given birth to a baby boy. And the one that her milk is less heavy and is lighter, she has given birth to a lady girl. And there are a couple of books that have been published, I don't think they've been translated into English, that stated, that states and brings stories from the lives of Amir Mu'min Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam where we see his wisdom and his knowledge and the miracles within his judgment and how he judged between people based on the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him. وَأَخْرَجَ نَحْوًا مِنْهُ أَبُوْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ أَحْمَدِ ibn مُحَمَّدِ ibn حَنْبَلِ So the first scholar was Hanafi, the second scholar is Hanbali, Imam al-Hanabila. بِرَوَايَةِ ibnihi an ibn an Abi Abd al-Rahman عبد الله في كتاب الخاص فضاء العلي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام and here they said رضي الله عنه so a Hanafi scholar states that the person who has given abundant has given wisdom has given an abundant good and a Hanbali scholar also says this 
And another hadith that comes from a Shafi'i Imam. Akhraj al Alam al Shafi'i Abu al Fida Ismail ibn Umar al Ma'aruf bi ibn Kathir. An ibn Mas'ud, an Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa alayhi. So we brought an example from Hanafi scholar, from Hanbali scholar, and right now a Shafi'i scholar, where he says, he narrates from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. قسمت الحكمة عشرة أجزاء فأعطي عليا تسعة أجزاء والناس جزءا واحدا Wisdom has divided into ten sects ten portions nine of them has been given to Amir al-Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam one of them has been given to all people how much wisdom Amir al-Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam had that makes us more and more of these narrations that the only one that we should follow after the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi's departure shouldn't be none but Amir al-Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam because of his wisdom because he being the master of the believers as we mentioned many every verse that الَّذِينَ amanu, those who believe and those who have faith has been mentioned Narrations from more than 30, 35 sources of non-Shia books have stated that this Walladina Amanu, that individual means Amir Mu'mineen, and the believers, Imam is the most noble one amongst them, and he's the head of the believers, and he's the master of the believers. So there would be an argument about, so what happens with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi? Aqul, again, Ayatollah Adma Sadr al-Shirazi, interpretates. لا شك أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله مستثني بالتخصص عن الناس في هذا الحديث. When we say that wisdom has been divided into ten sects, ten portions, nine has been given to Amir Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib عليه السلام and one has given has been given to the rest of the people. رسول الله is not part of this category, part of this. رسول الله is above Amir Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib عليه السلام. للضرورة كوني أفضل من Amir Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib عليه السلام. Rasulullah is higher in virtue than Amir Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Within a narration, one day Amir Mu'mineen, a person came and asked him, Are you higher or Prophet Adam ala Nabi Ali alayhi salam? He said, I am higher as a virtue, as a fadila, as a status. I am higher than Adam. He asked about Prophet Ibrahim or him. He said, I am higher than Prophet Ibrahim. He said, I am higher than Prophet Nuh. All the prophets. And then the person who was asking question, he said, how about, are you higher in status or Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi? Imam replied, Ana abdun min abid Muhammad. I'm one of the servants of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. A person might ask question, how can Amir Mumin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam be higher than Prophet Ibrahim ala nabina wa alayhi alayhi salam? Prophet Ibrahim asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within the Holy Quran that show me how you bring that back alive. Allah tells him, don't you believe? He says, yes, I want to get assurance. So Allah tells him to bring four birds, kill them, smush them together, and then take a portion, put different top of the peak of different mountains and stand in between of them and then call. You see how the birds come together? So that's the story of Prophet Ibrahim. He wanted to be, to get assurance how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings it back alive. But Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib salam states within a very beautiful, fantastic narration where he states, لَوْ كُشِفَ الْغِطَاءَ مَزْدَتُ يَقِينَ If the curtains are removed and we can see what we can see, my certainty, my iman won't increase when he is the master of the believers. Imam al-Muttaqeen, Imam al well, he is higher than that. So, فالمقصود بالحديث النبوي الناس غير النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فهو كبقية الأحاديث التي لا يدخل فيها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله مثل ضربة علي يوم الخندق أفضل من عبادة الثقلين We have a narration that both Shia and non-Shia have narrated this hadith that the striking of Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam that he came and he struck struck on the day of Khandaq is higher in value and virtue and status من عبادة الثقلين from all the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
Rasulullah is excluded from this. They cannot, nothing can be compared to the worship and active worship of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Then we go to the next verse, chapter 2, verse 274. الَّذِينَ those who give their wealth by night and day, secretly and openly, they shall have their reward near their Lord, and they will not fear, nor will they grieve. So we see right now within the hadith of the non-Shia, how what they narrate, رَوَى المفسر عثمان بن حسن بن أحمد الخديوي في تفسير المسمى بدر الناصحين الذين ينفقون أموالهم Those who give their wealth in night and during the day عن الكلبي ومقاتل they bring his, He brings his chain of narrators where it says نزلت هذا الآية في شأن علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه Again, every time that they say رضي الله عنه we say عليه السلام because Allah is satisfied with Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. This verse they claim and they state that this verse is about Amir Mu'mini and it was revealed about the commander of the faithful Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Kanat lahu arba'atu darahim. He had four dirhams. Walam yamluk ghayruha. He didn't have anything but these four dirhams. Falamma nazalat tahrir ala sadaqa. When it was revealed about the importance of giving charity. He gave one dirham at night time. And he gave one dirham during the day. And he gave one dirham in hidden and secret. And he gave one while well, everybody uh, knew about it. And everybody witnessed it. So this verse was revealed. وأخرج نحو منه شيخ المفسرين شهاب الدين, شهاب الدين في تفسير المخطوط أيضا and then Ayatollah Abdullah Shirazi brings many many narrations and many sources that have said that this verse is about Amir al-Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam we go to the next verse which is chapter 2 verse 285 where Rasulullah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim, Amana al-rasool bima unzila ilayh min rabbih wal-mu'minun. The messenger has faith in what has been sent down to him from his Lord. And all the faithful, each of them has faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We go back to the tafasir and we see that Many narrators bring this narration Al Faqih, Al Hanafi, Mu'awafaq bin Ahmad al Maliki, Al Makki, Al Khawarizmi, Al Alam al Shafi'i, Muhammad ibn Ibrahim, Muhammad ibn Ibrahim, and many other scholars which anybody can refer to the book Ali al Quran. The PDF is available online. Those who speak Arabic or understand Arabic, they can download it and they can get more sources. Because of lack of time, we want to get through. The text rather than just reading the sources. Rasulullah narrates the day that I ascended to heaven and there was a discussion between a communication between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, between Rasulullah and Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, Qala ya Muhammad, inni tala'atu ala al-ard ittila'an, ittila'an, fakhtartuka minha. I looked at the world, I picked you and I chose you. فَشَقَقْتُ لَكَ إِسْمًا مِنْ أَسْمَائِ I took one of my names and I gave, from that one of my name, I gave you a name. فَلَا أُذْكَرْ فِي مَوْضَعٍ إِلَّا ذُكِرْتَ مَعِي Every time that I've been mentioned, you will be mentioned. فَأَنَا الْمَحْمُودِ وَأَنْتَ مُحَمَّدِ صلى الله عليه وآله I am Mahmud and you are Muhammad. ثُمَّ طَلَعْتُ ثَانِيَةً فَاخْتَرْتُ عَلِيًّا Again, we are reading from a non-Shia books, Sunni sources. ثُمَّ اطَّلَعَتُ ثَانِيَ And then I looked again. فَاخْتَرْتُ عَلِيَ And then I chose Ali. وَشَخَقْتُ لَهُ أَسْمَاءِ اسْمًا مِنْ أَسْمَاءِ Then I picked one of my names 
and I took a name from this name of mine and I gave it to him. فَأَنَا الْأَعْلَى I'm the supreme, I'm the highest, the exalted. وَأَنَا الْأَعْلَى وَهُوَ عَلِيهِ يَا مُحَمَّدْ Allah is addressing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. يَا مُحَمَّدْ O Muhammad, أَنِّي خَلَقْتُكَ وَخَلَقْتُ عَلِيًّا وَالْحَسَنَ وَالْحُسَيْنِ وَالْأَئِمَّ مِنْ وُلْدِهْ مِنْ نُورِ I have created you and created Amir Mu'mineen, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, and Imam Hassan, and Imam Hussein, and the Imams from Imam Hussein alayhi salam, from my light. وَعَرَضْتُ وَلَايَتُكُمْ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِ السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضِ And I brought your wilaya and I showed it, and I ordered the earth, the heaven, and the earth upon your wilaya. And I showed them your wilaya. فَمَنْ قَبَلَهَا كَانَ عَنْدِي مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Anyone who accepted this wilaya, the wilaya of yours, Rasulullah, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, and the children of Imam Hussein alayhim salam until Imam al-Mahdi ajalallahu ta'ala faraj al-Sharif. Anybody who accepted the wilaya, their wilaya, كَانَ عَنْدِي مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ He is, in my eyes, he's a believer. وَمَنْ جَحَدَهَا كَانَ عَنْدِي مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ And anybody who does not accept their wilaya, he is from the kuffar. Again, we are only reading from the non-Shia sources. We are not mentioning any hadith from the narrations of Ahl-Bayt within the Shia books. So, the verse is, آمَنَ الرَّسُولُ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ رَبِّهِ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ The Messenger has faith in what has been sent down to him from his Lord and all the faithful, each of them has faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who are those faithful in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah says, the one who accepts the, your wilaya, O Rasulullah, and the wilaya of Amir al-Mu'minni Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, and Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein and his children. Ya Muhammad, Allah is still having a discussion with Rasulullah. لو أن عبدا من عبادي عبدني حتى ينقطع أو يصير كالشن البالي. In other words, Allah says, if one of my servants worship me, worship me in a way that basically he is destroying himself, he's putting himself in the hardest position possible when it comes to worship, that nothing is left out of him because of the amount that he worshipped, the most severe, severe, severe way of worshipping. And he comes to me with his worship, the amount that he has worshipped me. And he comes to me without your wilaya, wilaya of Rasulullah and Ahl Bayt I will not accept any of his worship until, and I will not forgive him until he accepts your wilaya. Ya Muhammad, atuhibbu an tarahum? You want to see them? You want to see Amir Mu'mineen, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussein, and his children? Qultu na'am, Ya Rab. Rasulullah said, yes, I said, I want to. Faqal iltafat an yameen al-arsh. Look at the right of the throne. Faltafattu. Faidha ba'aliyin, wa Fatima, wal Hassan, wal Hussein. وعلي ابن الحسين ومحمد ابن علي وجعفر ابن محمد وموسى ابن جعفر وعلي ابن موسى ومحمد ابن علي وعلي ابن محمد والحسن ابن علي والمهدي في ضحضاح من نور قياما يصل يصل يصلون يصلون فهم في وسطهم يعني المهدي يصلون فهم في وسطهم فهو في وسطهم يعني المهدي كأنه كوكب دري Allah wanted to show Ahl Bayt, the rest is starting Amir Mu'mineen, all the way, with, including Fatima al-Zahra to Imam al-Mahdi ajalallahu ta'ala faraj al He said, I saw them on the right of the throne, and then he brings the, he names them all, and I saw that they are standing, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and there is one in the middle, and that is Mahdi, and they're all illuminating. وَقَالَ يَا مُحَمَّدْ هَا الْحُجَجْ وَهَذَا الثَّائِرْ مِنْ أَتْرَتِكَ these are my proof and my argument against people. And this individual, meaning Mahdi, Imam al-Mahdi, Ajallah ta'ala, Faraj sharif he's the one who will take the revenge of the blood of Abu Abdullah al hussein take the revenge of the blood of Amir al-Mu'mineen, the blood of Fatima al-Zahra, alayha, 
Imam Al Hassan, Imam Zain Abidin, all the Imams that they were killed, the revenge will be taken by Imam Al Mahdi, Ajalullah Ta'ala, Fajr Sharif. Wahada, meaning Imam Al Mahdi, Al Tha'ir min Atratika, Wa Azati, Wa Jalali, Innahu Al Hujja, Al Wa, Innahu Al Hujja, Al Wajib, Al Awliya'i, Wal Muntakim min A'da'i. He is my proof that my people will be able to bring and he will take revenge from my enemy. The enemies of Ahlul Bayt are the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are Allah's representative. We give, we've, given, we've given this example. If Iraq sends an ambassador to another country and that country takes this individual and he kills him in daylight and he films it and he sends the video to the government of Iraq, what does this mean? This means act of war, that we are at war for you, with you. We killed your representative. So those people who come and usurp the Khilafah that has been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Rasulullah and has been given to Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, and to Imam Hassan Mushtaba salam, and to Imam Hussein salam, all the other Imams, they're all standing against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are fighting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah says, by this one, mean Imam al-Mahdi ajallah ta'ala farajah sharif I will take a revenge. Again, I will remind myself and you brothers and sisters that we are reading this ahadith from non-Shia books. There are about 10, 10 narrations 10 sources, another source. All the chain of narrators for these narrations that we're bringing, and Ayatollah Adma Sasaad Shirazi brought, he is only from non Shia books. It's not from Shia books. So we have to be very, very careful who we follow. We should not be misguided. We shouldn't see because of the mass of the people after Rasulullah went to one side and Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib was left with Salman and Miqdad and Ammar and a couple of people, handful of people. We shouldn't judge it with wrong mindset that okay majority of people went with the Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman. Minority, not minority, a handful of people was left with Amir Mu'mini Ali ibn Abi Talib it means Amir Mu'mineen is wrong, Na'udhu Billah, and the rest are right. We have to be very, very careful not to let this ideology to come and influence us. Alhamdulillah, we were able to finish Surah Al-Baqarah, the verses that have been mentioned. Again, there were some verses that was repeating, especially those who were about Alladina wa Alladina Amanu. That's, I just moved through it. Inshallah, tomorrow night we start Surah Al-Imran, wa fiha ihda wa thalathun ayah. That Ayatollah Al Masa Sadr Shirazi brings 31 verse, verses from Surah Al Imran and narrations from non Shia sources that bring a hadith that these verses are about the commander of the faithful, Amir al Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib. We will conclude with the most important dua, and that is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the appearance of our beloved Imam Mahdi Ajallah Ta'ala Faraj Sharif. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. اللهم كن لوليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى أبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه وردك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين